Hi everybody, my name is Doug Wilson, and this is Yellowhawk Custom Kydex. Um, I've got something different for you. You just saw both of them. Um, I was contacted by Will Myers from Mantis Outdoors, and he asked me to come up with something cool, functional, long-lasting, bomb-proof for his uh, Sospies design. It's the Sospies is made by uh, LT Wright right now. I think they're they're trying to have it made as a production knife with a different company as well, right? Now this is the Sospies. This is a clear cut bushcrafter. Big blade. You know, it's probably five and a half inches for the blade. Six inches, woo, mama, at three sixteenths inches thick. The Sospies, very comfortable handle. All of LT Rice handles are comfortable. Um, and Will had a lot to do with this. I can remember he said he took some clay or some Play Doh or something and he smushed it in his hand a little bit, and that's how he designed the handle. Pretty cool, right. Anyway, there it is, the Sospies. So he said, come up with something cool for this. Um, we're getting ready to, you know, have it made in, as a production knife, right? I said, okay, cool. There it is. All right. Um, so basically, what he sent me was, he sent me the original sheath with the knife in it. Okay, this is these are made by LT Wright. It, you know, it's got some play. It's got a little bit of rattle, um, but it does have a slide lock. So does so does the one that I built for it. Um, these are fairly serviceable sheaths. If you go with LT Wright, have a Kydex sheath made by them for one of their knives, then you you really can't go wrong. If you're looking for something. Higher grade, you know, higher level, upper end, you know, then you can contact me or, or there's a couple other guys out there that are really good at building Kydex sheaths, okay? So there's that. So anyway, he said, come up with something cool for me. So there it is, all right? He told me what he wanted. He, he picked the Kydex. This is a uh, Recon Fog Kydex. With um, elements that gray swirly pattern stuff. And then I got a uh, real dark gray carbon fiber holder for the light. Alright. Now Will doesn't know about the light. I just added this. So <laughs> he'll probably find out on this video. Um, now here's how the light works. Just so you know. When he's wearing it in the dangler mode like this. He's got it in dangler. He can grab the handle of the knife and just point that light wherever he wants it to go. Okay? That's one way to use it. Um, there's another way. If he doesn't wear his knives like this, but if he wanted to, right, he could take it out, put it in the other way, and if he were to wear it and say cross draw, then he's got another way to shine the light. Okay? But it is tight. I make them very snug so that they don't go anywhere. They're not going to come off. The light, even if the shock cord comes off, the light's not going to fall out. Okay? So that's how that works. Um,. In dangler mode. Pointing that way. Okay. It also has a slide lock. This. Oh, I didn't show that to you yet. Did I? Alright, so anyway. Here's what we got. Oh, I got it locked. He's got a work tough gear spear point. Alright. Now, he had it behind. Behind the. Uh, the kydex. Wedged between the leather and the kydex. Okay. 
But he asked me to somehow incorporate that into the sheath system. So I made it as a piggyback. Um, and you just grab the loop like this and pull. No big deal. Easy to do. Okay. It's also got a slide lock. You slide that lock up and this thing's not coming out. It's just not going to come out. All right. In function mode, you slide that down and it, it pops out pretty easy. Fairly easy. You got to give it a decent yank. Okay. Now we got a, a side mount ferro rod. Five and a half, no, five inches by half inch ferro rod. Okay. He, he, him and Chris Tanner like these big honking ferro rods on their sheaths. I think they're too heavy for a sheath. But some guys like them. I get it, right? They're easy to use. Got another slide lock here for the Sos Beast, right? Just push it up, and it's locked in there. Not coming out, okay, until you disengage the lock. All right? Real simple. Real simple stuff. I make them simple, effective, functional, right? Um, and then he's got a Raptor Dangler, okay, that actually clips into a small tech lock. Now, I used a small tech lock for this because I just needed something to hold the Raptor Dangler. Something that this thing can click into, okay? And because Will said he won't use the belt clip. He said, I can't think of any reason why I would use the belt clip. Trust me, eventually he'll use it. Eventually, somewhere along the line, okay? Because they are Molly compatible too. Even the small tech locks are Molly compatible, okay? And then he can take this off. He can put a regular belt clip on there. He can put a Molly lock clip on there if he wants. A couple of different options, okay? So there it is. He's a straight-up dangler man, right? Will likes danglers. And I get it. They're con convenient. I like them, too. Okay? So I gave him a nice dangler. Got the uh, Yellow Hawk logo in there. Nice leather. This is really nice leather. Nice and thick. Stable. Secure. You know. Okay? So there it is. For Will Myers at Mantis Outdoors. Check out his YouTube channel. He's um, in a, uh, a period of regrowth, I guess. He stepped away for a while. And now he's coming back full tilt. Alright. So there it is. Check out Mantis Outdoors. On YouTube. Subscribe to his channel. You, you might win something. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know if he does giveaways or not. <laughs> I do. <laughs> anyway, here it is. All right, there's that one, okay? There's that one. Will Myers, Mantis Outdoors. Mantis, like praying mantis, like chew your head off of your dude, you know, have sex with your husband and chew his head off kind of girl, right? <laughs> anyway... This channel is not made for kids. All right, so here we got a Leather Elite for a Boosie Razor Hellraiser 2. Hellraiser 2, right? Hellraiser. This, I tell you what, this is a beast. This knife is a beast, right? Boosie, B-U-S-S-E or Bussy, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce it. I bet you Mr. Boosie does. Mr. Bussy does. Okay, anyway. Leather Elite. This is uh, full grain alligator leather. Right? Good stuff. Um, fairly thick. I have it bonded to the Kydex. It's bonded. Okay? And I've never had any fall off. So they're bonded pretty well. I bond them under pressure so that it stays there through thick and thin. Hey, here's a story. A guy said, hey, Doug, I lost my leather elite in a river, right? 
it was at night, so I couldn't find it right away. I went back in the morning, and here it is soaking all night in this river. And pulled it out, dried it, you know, by the fire, and it's perfect. No problem. True story. Leather Elite. Side mount ferro rod, another one. Uh, half inch by five inch. He's got a mount plate that he can put a molly lock clip on or a regular belt clip, right? He's got a voodoo dangler with two screws and a nice thick piece of leather for the dangler loop. Okay? This is good stuff. I like it. It's got that cracked appearance, that antique look. Love it. Love it! All right. So there's that one. Leather Elite. I really like these. I'm pretty smart. What do you think? Pretty smart? I guess. All right, guys. That's it. This is um, Cryptek Highlander. That's what he wanted for the, for the options. Cryptek Highlander. All right, guys. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Doug Wilson from Yellow Hawk Custom Kydex. Thank you for supporting veteran-owned Yellow Hawk Customs. See ya!